Tonight, Americans all across the nation are closely watching today's special election, which experts say could have a major impact on states all across the country. Right. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with advocates on both sides of the issue. She continues our coverage now live from the state house. Ashley. Well, Andrew, Yolanda, activists on both sides of these issues tell me they've been canvassing for months, making phone calls, and are now rallying together tonight with all eyes on these election results. Some tell me it's about protecting the rights of the abortion rights initiative on the ballot come this November, while others tell me it's about so much more than just abortion. The Ohioans United for Reproductive Rights are gathering together tonight in anticipation of a hopeful no on issue one. Volunteers are committed and have been making so many phone calls, text messages, knocking on doors. Vote no in August so that we can protect reproductive freedom in November. Meanwhile, Republican attorney Mahek Cook tells me issue one would protect parent rights in protecting their children from gender surgeries and small business owners when it comes to minimum wage. She says Ohioans' rights are being attacked. As a mom, attorney, small business owner, we do not want government in our business. We do not want government control and these extreme out-of-state liberal policies dictating how we parent our children, abortion rights, transgender surgeries, gun rights, small businesses, the list goes on. Now, recent polling shows this could be a tight race. However, a recent poll out of Suffolk University shows that Ohioans opposed issue one by nearly 30 points. Reporting live at the State House, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10 TV News.